Welcome back for day two of 58 by 58s trip to Mammoth Cave National Park. All right, so we just finished our first full day and night here at Mammoth Cave. We're going to tear down camp and then head to get our canoes. Hey, so we are leaving the campsite at Mammoth Cave National Park and we're heading to Mammoth Cave Canoe and Kayak Incorporated to get our canoes for our canooping. Alright guys, let's start canoeing. We launched from Denison Ferry around 11 a.m. It was a perfect day for canoeing. Though it was quite hot, it was mostly cloudy. and the deep valley that the river runs through creates patches of shade for most of the day. I tried with some success throughout the weekend to execute the J-stroke. You can learn that here in this instructional video I found. We found a river cave I had seen on Adventure Archive's YouTube channel. But unfortunately, the water had receded far too much, and our canoe would have run aground had we tried to go in. That's a bummer. I really wanted to go in that cave. There is basically no current on this section of the Green River, which makes for a lot of paddling. But also, a slowing of your pace. This idea of slowing your pace, not just in canoeing, but just in life, was very refreshing. You can see the Morris Benoits in their native habitat lounging lazily on the boat. We live in a busy, fast-paced world. But our time on the river forced us to slow down and notice the little things, the often missed details of life. At this point in our trip, we had gone about seven miles when we stopped for lunch So we got a storm approaching. Boy. The sky darkened quite fast, so we built a quick tarp shelter. Hey, if you guys need to eat, go eat and start eating. The whole uncut video of this can be found in the description below. Surviving a thunderstorm. Is it okay over there? All right, dinner. Who wants it? Here. Okay, we just survived that storm, and now we're going to clean up and head out. We got on our way and reached the Green River Ferry. We believed we only had three miles left for the day, 
but all the islands were already taken by campers. So we canoed another four miles and finally reached Crump Island, which was really a peninsula. We ported the canoe through some stagnant water and then made camp on the beach. Overall, our day was both relaxing and exhausting. We spent some time fishing, skipping stones, and also paddling for what seemed like an eternity. Maybe tomorrow, we'll get a little more rest. If you missed our first video on Great Onyx Cave, you can click here. If you want to check us out as we weather the storm, watch the entire GoPro first-person point-of-view video here.